Tow Truck Rob here. We're getting ready to make some deep fried Cajun pork loin steaks. So this is kind of what we're doing, or you could buy what what's known as like a kernel flour. It's got, it's already pre-mixed, it's really good. It kind of, you know, $1.99, but what I like to do is uh, make my own flour. My own version of seasoned flour. So I've got four cups of flour. I've got uh, 20 sachets seasoning about two tablespoons of that. Two tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of parsley. Got to have your greens. Uh, two tablespoons of onion powder. Two tablespoons of ground paprika. And when I do ground paprika, I want two heaping tablespoons. So you kind of get a little bit like that reddish color. Gives you your, more of your Cajun flavor. Um, and two tablespoons of black pepper. Now the black pepper you don't have to add as much if you're not into the super spicy. Uh, if you like the idea of doing the seasoned flour and not making it a Cajun seasoned flour, don't put in the Creole seasoning and only use one tablespoon of the black pepper. But again, I do heaping tablespoons of everything I put in here and it makes it a little better. The flavor comes out, it kind of pops. So you want to mix it all up so you're ready to dip your steaks into before we put it into the hot cast iron stove with oil in it. Hey guys, now what I did was earlier I took these thin cut pork steaks, pork loin steaks, and I they've been marinating in buttermilk for about three, three and a half hours. So a lot of what you, you can do, you can do this with butter, if you don't like buttermilk, uh, you can use actually regular milk. What it does is actually kind of helps to break down the connective tissue so you don't have to sit there and stab them all with, with a fork or your meat tenderizer. There's no fun in that at all whatsoever. Um, and it takes too long. But if you let it sit in the buttermilk for about three hours, three and a half hours, boom, you're, you're ready. All right, so along with the other things that I'm adding to, that I added to the... Uh, seasoned flour is I add a third of a cup since I've got four cups of flour I want to add a third of a cup of cornstarch to the mixture and that'll help kind of make it even crispier it, it, it makes it uh, the flour actually adhere to the steak a little better and it makes it really crispy trust me you're gonna like this right, so these have been marinating for three hours I'm gonna take them and one at a time I'm gonna put them in our flour mixture right here. Roll them around in it. Make sure to kind of press on them just a little bit. You want that to adhere. All right, I'm gonna have my assistant, Shayla, demonstrate how we're going to do these today. We take the uh, thin pork steaks and we're gonna flip them into the batter. Press, make sure to press them down. That'll kind of help adhere more of that flavorful batter, flavorful flour up into it. Now she's gonna do that over and over and over again, and when she's done, we're gonna go ahead and deep fry those suckers. We'll get to that in a minute. We wanna make sure the pan's at least at 350. I'm gonna lay them out. We don't want too many crowding in the pan at once, because what happens is if you have one, if they're too close, they'll end up steaming, and you won't get it crisp. You'll get it soggy around the edges. So we'll start with that. Oh, look at that. You can smell it cooking. It smells amazing. Oh boy. Aren't those looking good? Almost ready. So this is a pretty quick and simple recipe. You can knock this out in like an hour.